Hello, my name is Jerry McCoy. I am the president of the Silver Spring, Maryland Historical Society. Today is April 1st, 2009. I'd like to be able to say what is going on behind me. The disfigurement of 8222-8226 Georgia Avenue is an April Fool's joke, but indeed it is not. This building, constructed circa 1922 and located on Georgia Avenue in downtown Silver Spring, Maryland, was originally the home of the Silver Spring Building Supply Company, which was located on the first floor, and up on the second floor, the North Washington Realty Company. These two businesses, which were operated by James H. Sissel and E. Brook Lee, together were responsible for the construction of many of the homes that were con built here in uh, the neighborhoods surrounding downtown Silver Spring, including East Silver Spring and the Blair Tacoma neighborhood. The building, which featured unique to downtown Silver Spring, a slate mansard roof and original double hung windows on both the first and second floors, have methodically been stripped off by the current owner of the building, whom the Silver Spring Historical Society had been working with since 2005 uh, to educate him in the importance of this landmark structure in downtown Silver Spring. Absolutely most heartbreaking of all is the removal of the slate mansard roof. This was the only building in downtown Silver Spring that had this type of roof on it. And the very vision of seeing this mansard roof, which was constructed to last virtually forever, being unnecessarily removed from this building is absolutely heartbreaking. For 85 years, this mansard roof has viewed the passing parade, as the historians like to call it, here in downtown Silver Spring. It really made the building architecturally distinctive in downtown Silver Spring, and now this methodical disfigurement of stripping it off and basically reducing the building to nothing more than a generic brick shell is absolutely criminal.
So had the building behind me had historic designation, this would not have been able to have taken place. This is why it's very important for downtown Silver Spring to be designated as a Montgomery County Historic District. If the effort is not made to do so by the citizens of Silver Spring and Montgomery County, further destruction like this will take place in downtown Silver Spring. And eventually, all of the early 20th century buildings that still make Georgia Avenue in Silver Spring, Maryland, a unique destination for visitors as well as residents, are going to be destroyed and replaced by homogenous office buildings, and Silver Spring, Maryland will eventually look like everywhere else USA. For Jerry McCoy and the Silver Spring Historical Society, thank you.